Good morrow, friends. Alistair Peabody here, and welcome to episode 2 of Not Your Grandma's Grandma. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at those rascally cads, adjectives, and adverbs. For years, they have caused great disturbance for students across this great United Kingdom of ours, and here we are today to teach others how to decipher and distinguish between these two very important modifiers. I say modifiers because most of us know that adjectives and adverbs modify other words. That means that they describe them. Let us begin our study with adjectives. Adjectives are known to modify, that is describe, nouns and pronouns. They always answer a question for us, that's why they're such lovely bucks. One of the questions they often answer is what kind. Shall we take a look at some examples? Now last year, in episode 1, we learned that a king is a noun. Therefore, anything a king does could be described as an adjective if it describes the king. For example, a king could be powerful. A king can also be mean. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a he And finally, a king can also be benevolent, like all the good old kings of jolly old England. Stepping away from kings for a second, anyone can be described by an adjective, so let's look at the adjective Funny. Funny is describing Dalton in this scene. Did you lose a shoe man? Nah, man, I found one. <laughs> and in this scene, we can see the adjective insane. Insane in the membrane, as my old friend from Cypress Hill said. <laughs> One adjective I often hear those American children saying is awesome. Here's what that would look like describing a noun. Awesome! I came to I play. Came to play. There's a price to pay. Time for you to get down on your knees. I came to play. As much as we hate to say it, annoying is definitely an adjective that could describe a noun. It's time for a big guy. Now there are other questions that can also be answered by adjectives. One of them will tell us which one. For example, this or that could both be adjectives. And the final question adjectives can answer would be how many. In this clip we'll see five could be an adjective to describe five dogs. Now let us move on to that other devious modifier, the adverb. The adverb can be very difficult to find, but we think if you follow these simple steps, we can help you from now into perpetuity. First, you must remember that an adverb cannot describe a noun. That is only the adjective. Adverbs describe verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. Most adverbs answer the question, how? For example, last year we learned that cleaning was a verb. And this year we shall learn that if you clean magically, magically is an adverb. I can clean magically. I love peanut butter sandwiches. Shazam! <laughs> also in episode one, we learned that decorating is a verb as we decorated our Christmas trees for Father Christmas. This year, we learned that if we decorate festively, festively is an adverb. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Mistletoe home where you can see every couple tries to stop. Really, any word can be made an adverb as many end in L-Y, though not all. That is a trick. But if you wanted to make a word an adverb that doesn't even exist, for example, I know a girl named Antoinette, and if she acts like herself, we could say that she is acting Antoinettedly. Brandy, she's beating us up so much, I got you 
Unfortunately, there's some evildoers in this world of ours, and they sometimes act maniacally. And if they're not acting maniacally, they might turn you into a mummy when you don't want to, thus laughing and acting diabolically. Now some adverbs do not answer the question how, they can answer the question when. For example, soon and later are adverbs that answer the question when. Coming soon, Godzilla, 2013. <laughs> Now finally, there are some adverbs that tell us the answer to the question, where? For example, near and far are adverbs that answer the question, where? Near. Far. Near. Far. <laughs> well, that's it for episode two of Not Your Grandma's Grandma. We hope that you've learned quite a bit about those rascally cads, adjectives and adverbs, and hope you'll join us again next year for episode 3. I'm Alistair Peabody. Cheerio, friends!